Hi everyone, Pam here from Creative Homescaping. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I post several videos a week on how to creatively manage and decorate your home. In today's video, I'm going to be participating in the Spring Open Invite Challenge that's being hosted by Creative Lori. Please be sure to check out Lori's channel, which I'll have linked in the description box down below, as well as the playlist of the other participants, which I'll have when it's available. And now, Stay tuned to see what I did for my challenge. For this challenge, Lori asked us to take some sort of clear container and use it as a vessel to hold a spring vignette or collage as she was calling it. So I am going to be using this jar. I used to use this jar many years ago, let's say 20 years ago, to hold pasta in my kitchen. But since then, it's had many different uses. Most recently, I was using it to hold leftover buttons from things in my sewing area. And then uh, earlier last year, I actually used it to create my own lantern and I'll link that in an iCard for you above so you can see where, what I did uh, to turn this into a lantern. But for this challenge, I'm going to use it as my clear vessel to hold my springtime vignette. So for my vignette, I am going to be using this jar as I mentioned. And I'm going to be putting in it some Excelsior. Now I already had this on hand, but I hadn't opened it up yet. This is from Dollar Tree. And then I'm also going to be using these little ceramic bunnies. I think these may have come from Pier One, but, or Michael's many years ago. I've had them for a long time. They have these little brown and natural cream colored rib ribbons on them, gingham ribbons. And then I'm going to be using these eggs, these gold and gold speckled eggs. These did come from Pier 1 um, many years ago. I think I got them after Easter on clearance. So that's what I'm going to be putting, trying to put in here. So let's get going. I'm just going to put a little bed of the Excelsior in. Sorry for the noise. And as you can see, it's very messy. Um, let me just take the whole bunch out. Might be easier than trying to grab a bunch. And it's a little big for sitting all of it into the jar, but I'm gonna put some in the bottom here. You just kind of have to spread it around with your fingers. And that's my watch clinking on the glass, by the way. And then I have a big mess, which I shall have to clean up <laughs> so my cats don't start to eat it. And then what I'm going to do is just set the bunnies in here. Try to make a little hole for them to sit a little bit better, like so. I want their ribbons facing forward so that people can see them. And then I'm going to take a few of these eggs and just place them around. And I'm actually going to lay them out on the counter so I can get to some of the gold ones too because I want to put those in here in various ways. Three there. And maybe three back here. Yeah, I like the way that looks. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little hard to see the bunnies because of the ridges in this container. So I'm wondering if I should switch containers. It's a little hard to see the bunnies. I did put I'll end up putting all of the eggs in there and having the bunnies sit on top so you could see them a little bit better and they were up closer to where the glass is a little more smooth and not so so ridged and bumpy. And the last thing I've done besides stacking the bunnies on top of the eggs and the Excelsior 
is to put in some more of that Queen Anne's lace floral that I keep using that was from the Dollar Tree at Christmas time. It's really nice because it's very neutral and I think it adds just the right touch into this little vignette. Thank you all for watching as I put together this vignette. It was very quick. I had everything on hand, so it was no cost, as Lori said we had to do. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm going to set it on one of my coffee tables and have it out during springtime. Thank you again for watching. If you did like this video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. And once again, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I do post several videos a week on how to creatively manage and decorate your home. And you can subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button in the description box down below or the icon in the bottom corner of this video. I look forward to seeing all of you next time and let's welcome spring into our homes. Bye bye everyone.